What is up, you awesome people? It's Bessie here, and today we talk about what Marvel Studios might actually unveil at D23 Exposition this year. Okay, so for those who don't actually know, we have the D23 Expo 2019, less than a month in the future, August 20th to 25th. And what we're gonna do with this video is we're gonna actually talk what films might they unveil past the 2022 movie line. This is what we will get officially, this is from marvel.com, what we will get officially at this event. So we got How to Draw the Marvel Way at August 24, which is basically comic book stuff, and Marvel Animations, Venom Invasion, and a world premiere. These two will get excluded immediately, but following that, we get something interesting. The Walt Disney Studios Hall D23 presentation on Saturday. The synopsis reads as follows. The Walt Disney Studios will present a behind-the-scenes look at its blockbuster collection of upcoming films. This leads me to believe that we will get part two of phase four. This may be crazy, but Kevin Feige might have played us the fans a little bit and only showed us the first part of phase four. It goes on to say, including a peek at at exciting projects from Marvel Studios. As always, attendees will be treated to exclusive footage, special guest appearances, and more. Now, if this doesn't blow your mind, nothing will. This synopsis obviously is trying to tell us that something new is on the horizon, okay? That maybe part one was shown at Comic-Con, but part two is coming on August 24th, Saturday. And this synopsis actually might tell us just that, because it actually reads, it says, including a peek at exciting projects from Marvel Studios. Well, we already got that exciting peek, right? and exciting projects. Now, this might insinuate that we're getting new movies, new exclusive footage and special guests that coincide with that footage. Now, there are rumors that best case scenario, 2022 movies possibly announced despite being a phase five will be Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2 or Fantastic Four with Captain Marvel taking a four year break. And last but not least, my favorite movie, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Because even though we have a lot of Disney Plus shows, five movies announced is a lot, but feels low when we already know the sequels I mentioned are also coming. After this, no major announcements after Marvel's next appearances at Comic-Con or D23 the next year. Let's talk decent case scenarios. Black Widow and Eternals footage shown and more details about both of these movies. Now that would be just a dream come true. Disney Plus shows detailed ahead of launch of streaming service with a focus mainly on Falcon and Winter Soldier since it's coming next year. Most likely this will be the case. Now, worst case scenario, just Disney Plus stuff. Now, I don't know about you, as much as I love Disney Plus because of Star Wars and now a huge abundance of, of Marvel TV shows, we gotta have some movie stuff. It's just inevitable. We want to know something about, at least I do, about Guardians of the Galaxy. And where is it heading now with Chris Hensworth? Just off topic a bit, I know this may be controversial, but besides Blade, nothing at Comic-Con truly grabbed the fans' attention because we all knew it was coming. So I hope 2022 and 23 and beyond that, we get just one surprise new property movie like uh, Moon Knight or Kazar and uh, Savage Land even. Just something we didn't know about, similar to, you know, the previous phases we got Ant-Man, nobody really expected that, or Guardians of the Galaxy even. And now we're getting Shang-Chi and the Eternals, which nobody really expected them to ever come to the big screen. That probably won't be until 2023 and beyond though. Realistically though, Marvel will just go into more detail about Black Widow and Eternals along with the immediate Disney Plus shows and maybe Shang-Chi, which, you know, would still be cool. I'm a big fan of Shang-Chi. Rumor has it that it's been teased D23 will be huge for Marvel based on a lot of speculation, especially from Twitter, if you catch my drift. Now, I also have a suspicion that Kevin Feige may be playing coy and only half of Phase 4 was announced with 
Phase 4 Part 2 covering 22 and 23 and including reveals for Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Fantastic Four, Blade and etc. Perhaps they will definitely be announced at D23. What do you guys think about all of this craziness? I would love to know what you guys think. Tell me down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, subscribe for dailies. Thank you so much for stopping by and you have an awesome day.